I'm the king of the world. Let us know where you've seen it in the comments down below. But for now, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, welcome to Ask the Camera Guy. My name is Steven, the Camera Guy, and today we're gonna to be talking about sound in film. When it comes to sound, sound is very, very important to video. In fact, one time somebody told me that when it comes to video, you could almost do anything with the video, but the sound has to be pristine. Because if you mess up the sound, people assume that your video is cheap. But if you do really, really good sound, they assume that the video that you did along with the sound was intentional, all right? Go figure. But sound partners with video hand in hand. Ever since the days of old film, when they had no sound whatsoever, those B-movies, when they would have sound, where they would have sound playing from like an actual pianist, everybody understood that sound was incredibly important. In fact, sound is one of the most important parts of any film. In fact, you could show a dark screen with nothing at all. Bam. Just play some really creepy sounds. And you could get spooked up. Yeah, there. Yeah. So you get really spooked out just by the sound. So sound is the tone of any film or any production. In fact, I would even go as far as to say, without proper sound, even if it's just a soundtrack, you're not gonna get the kind of mood no matter what kind of film you shoot. The difference between a very emotional film and a very serious film and a very like quirky, funny film is sound. In fact, let me give you guys an, ex uh, uh, an example. Roll it, Charlie. I don't know exactly what's happening. I feel like I'm lost in space. Just lost. Now, back then, we'll play that three different times and you'll get three different tones based on what sound Shareli plays under the video. I don't know exactly what's happening. I feel like I'm lost in space. Just lost. I don't know exactly what's happening. I feel like I'm lost in space. Just lost. I don't know exactly what's happening. I feel like I'm lost in space. Just lost. All right, so you could get very, very serious tones if you use very, very serious music. You could get very, very emotional tones if you use very simple music. This is something that I use all the time when I'm editing videos to get the most impact from what I'm trying to do. In fact, a lot of the times when we do commercials, we start with the sound first and then we move back and shoot the video. That way we know what tone we're shooting for and we shoot the video along with the tone. In fact, in animated movies, what they do first is they record the sound of the voice actors and then they attach the animation to that sound that they recorded with the voice actors. Very case in point, Aladdin. When they were shooting Aladdin, they did all of the, the of course, this, is, this happens all the time, but with Aladdin, they had so much takes of, what's his name? What the guy named Wacky Eugenie again? Robin Williams. In fact, they had so much takes of Robin Williams doing all kinds of different impressions that they just basically clipped some and used them for Genie in the movie. There was a lot, there was a lot of note takes, there were a lot of ones that they didn't animate. But sound is incredibly important. So whenever you're doing video, I want you guys to think really seriously about the sound that you're going to use. The sound makes the difference in tone and it also makes the difference in sympathy. Human beings sympathize with the human face or faces. Human beings also sympathize with sound. Sound is incredibly incredibly important all right guys well i hope today's episode was informative for you guys if you want you can like share and subscribe or you can ask us any questions down below in the comments and we'll try to get back to them and i wish you guys a very safe um very safe day or night or whenever you watch this um as usual peace no gang signs secret confession i really like ebang fudge <laughs>